Hey guys, CP Modder here, back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at a question that's been burning in the back of my mind for quite a long time, and that is how does age affect your SSD drive? Now, in comparison to many other storage mediums on the market, SSDs are the newest and haven't been around for as long as others. We've seen hard drives for quite a long time, and we know how they sort of go over a long period of time, but how do SSDs go? So today we're going to be taking a look at exactly that. Now, for the past seven years or so, I've been using SSDs as my primary boot drives, even up until well today with my latest computer running an NVMe based SSD, but I've been running them since probably the SATA do SSD days where they weren't really much more than a hard drive, but they were really, really awesome to have in your system. And for the past five years, I've been running the exact same boot drive across all the systems that I've been using, being the Samsung 840 Evo. And in fact, you can see whenever I've been in front of a wall of boxes like this, chances are in just about every one of those videos, there's been an 840 Evo box somewhere hidden on the set. And in fact, in this video right now, there's actually quite a few behind me. There's one located right here, and there's also two, another one right over my shoulder, which is probably unable to be seen by the camera, but there are a couple on the set. So I've been running them basically since launch, and that was back in 2012. But after all this time, how have they fared, and are they still any good? Well, first off, take a look at some statistics about the drive. They've been running for quite a bit of time. In fact, 18,000 hours as of recording this video. This drive has also too been powered on over 2,049 times. It's also to fail its uncorrectable error count. It's also to failed its ECC error rate. And it's also to never had any warranty because I actually picked up this particular drive from some dodgy market seller guy from a computer market, which you can find linked right there. So really, it's never had the best lifespan there. Not to mention, it's also to written a massive 16.5 terabytes of data on this 120 gig drive. And just for reference, that would be the equivalent of reading and writing to this drive and filling it up completely 137.5 times in its entire lifespan, which is quite a lot of data. Now, this is mainly due to the fact because I'm an editor and I actually use that as not only a scratch disk, but also to a cache disk for about three or four years. It's only recently that I've actually stopped using my C drive as a caching drive for Premiere Pro and other professional applications, meaning that dumping a whole lot of data on this drive, and thus we get a large amount of reads and writes. But jumping into the crystal disk mark and taking a look at our benchmarks, let's have a look at how time has fared. Back in 2012, this drive would have gotten 531 megabytes per second on the reads and 135 megabytes per second on the writes. But today we're getting 506 megabytes per second on the reads and 125 on the writes, or about 25 megabytes per second less on the reads and exactly 10 megabytes per second less on the rights. Jumping into our day-to-day -day performance test, everything from launching up programs is still snappy, fast and responsive, and even doing things like loading games and playing games were just fine. It almost felt exactly the same as having a brand new SSD. And even comparing it to some of the latest and greatest NVMe-based SSDs is actually not that bad. If you're only going to be doing things like benchmarks, then obviously you're going to notice a difference. However, into day-to-day -day operations, I really didn't notice that much of a difference between a five-year-old SSD and a one month old drive. So all in all, yes, at the end of the day, they do slow down, but not as much as many of us actually thought. It's still snappy, fast and responsive. And at the end of the day, I would have no problems with using this drive for another five years. In fact, put it on your calendars because we'll be back in five years time with a review or re redo of this video to see how an SSD stands up to 10 years of operation. Whether or not we still have motherboards with SATA ports in five years time, or whether or not I even still use it as a C drive in five years time, if it hasn't died already, will be definitely the question. But at the end of the day, yes, they do slow down, but it's really not that much of a performance decrease. So with that being said, that is about it for today's video. Again, let me know down below if you expected these kind of results, and also to let me know how long you've been running an SSD drive if you do run one in your system, because it is interesting to see that SSDs are actually still, in the grand scheme of things, fairly new technologies. Otherwise, again, do mark it in your calendar We'll be back in five years' time to do these exact videos and see how 10 years affects our drive. Otherwise, guys, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.